What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we're talking about iOS 11.4 Beta 2. Apple released this to developers earlier today at the time of recording this video. It comes about two weeks after iOS 11.4 Beta 1, so as always, let's go ahead and jump in and talk about what's new. I wasn't expecting to see anything big happen in this beta, but if we head over to settings and the wallpaper section, you guessed it, there is a new wallpaper inside of iOS 11.4. Now it's nothing entirely new, but it is the official Product Red iPhone 8 marketing wallpaper that I've personally been dying to get my hands on because up until today we had unofficial versions but this is straight from Apple, the official version of the iPhone 8 Product Red 2018 wallpaper. If you're running the latest iOS 11.4 beta on your device then you can get the new wallpaper by heading over to the wallpaper preference panel. It is listed under stills right after the other iPhone 8 marketing wallpapers. If not, you can just head over to the link down below in the description. I have the full res wallpaper already posted over on my website so check it out there. Aside from that, however, I don't think that we'll be seeing any other major developments happen inside of iOS 11.4, maybe up until the public release, just because Apple has already cemented in a number of features that users have been waiting to see for a while, like messages in iCloud. Apple is still calling it a development and in-testing feature, so there is always the possibility that this could get removed later on during the beta cycle. I really hope that that's not the case because a lot of people have been waiting on that feature. And then AirPlay 2 is also the other big feature inside of iOS 11.4, allows you to play the same music in every room or different songs in every room of your home with AirPlay 2 compatible speakers. And what Apple previewed ahead of iOS 11.4 Beta 1's release was ClassKit support. So third-party developers can integrate the ClassKit framework into their apps and have all that data from these third-party apps sync into a first-party app from Apple called Schoolwork. And besides those changes which were present in iOS 11.4 Beta 1, I didn't find anything else interesting inside of iOS 11.4 Beta 2. However, if we head over to the official developer release notes, Apple did highlight a few issues that have been resolved. Kicking things off with AirPlay, there were two fixes here. If you were streaming video from the YouTube app to an Apple TV, sometimes only the audio would play, and in general, when you were streaming a video from YouTube through AirPlay, sometimes the audio would be behind by two or three seconds. That has also been fixed, which is really good to hear. Under Keychain, Apple says, quote, the shared web credentials API always returns the air autofill disabled, end quote. That has been corrected, so it shouldn't return that air anymore. And finally, in music, this one could definitely be annoying. Sometimes while you were playing a song, it would never advance to the next track. It would just stop at the end of the first track. So that has also been corrected in iOS 11.4 beta 2. Lots of good changes there. Aside from that, this is not a very large beta update. I was hoping that we would continue to see more features, but at this point, I don't think Apple is going to continue to add more things to iOS 11. As it's been out in beta form or in some form for almost a year now, iOS 12 is quickly approaching that beta should be dropping sometime around June 4th at Apple's WWDC 2018 developer conference. For iOS 11.4, However, we just don't have an exact release date just yet. I would assume it would be around the time that the iOS 12 beta drops on June 4th, but we really have no idea. And before wrapping up the video, one last thing that I want to touch on is battery life and performance. I haven't been extensively using iOS 11.4 because the device I was running it on, which was my iPhone 10, I had to send in for repair, which is a story for another day. But when I was using it, it felt pretty good around the same as iOS 11.3 did on my iPhone 10. And for performance, I ran a Geekbench test on my iPhone 8 got 4247 for the single core score and 10,206 for the multi-core score, which are not the best scores that I've ever gotten on the A11 Bionic processor, but they are by no means shabby. As of right now, that is everything that you should know about iOS 11.4 Beta 2. If you enjoyed the video, it does help me out if you take a second to drop a like, and if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit subscribe. To help support the channel, you can head over to shop.iupdateos.com and buy a shirt there. That would be fantastic. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.